Hello, welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's vlog is Shopee haul to recreate Blackpink outfits. Without further ado, let's start. I got this backless white top together with the dress. I super love its detail at the back, so I bought it. Although, I won't be showing it in the try on part since our theme is Blackpink. Let's focus on this cappy floral dress that looks exactly what Rose wore when she visited Bali in Tunisia. I got this beautiful dress for only 293 pesos. which Lisa wore in their black pink diary show on YouTube. I chose this one because it can be worn in two ways, which you'll be seeing later. This retro court style crop top is only 380 pesos. is this white smock top which is closer to what Jisoo wore at the airport. This is only 98 pesos. It's the cheapest among my purchases. Next one is Jenny's outfit. It's a daisy lace tank top that sells for only 199 pesos. I also bought graphic tees on uh, the official store of Ben Shop on Shopee. The shirt's original price is 299 but it's discounted because of the sale, so I got it for only 174 pesos. I'm not a t shirt person, but I bought this because of Lisa. She had an interview with Pensha because she is one of uh, the endorsers. In that interview, she was taught some expressions that locals normally use. And those expressions were made into shirts.
I also bought this hat for only 349 pesos. It has this letter L in the middle, which stands for Lisa, which is also my name. That's why I bought it. Since we're done with the haul, let's move on now to the try on part. I paired Rose's outfit with my yellow sling bag because it matches the yellow detail of the dress. It has a black detail which is a match of my bucket hat. And lastly, my sneaker which goes well with the white florals. In case you're conservative, you can actually wear a white inner top. To level up the outfit, I'm pairing it with my black boots that has this yellow shoelace. Next is Juju's outfit, so I just did the same thing, I paired it with my black bottoms. Of course, my hat is included. It's black, same thing with my bag. I'm finishing my look here by wearing my boots. I just changed its shoelace to black. This is a perfect outfit for minimalist women. Next is Jenny's outfit. I just paired it with jeans. The top has a yellow detail which matches the bag that was given to me by my aunt. Three fourths of the top's color is white, so I went for a white pair of chunky shoes. Let's move on now to my bias, the queen of the dance floor, Lisa. I'm pairing this purple floral crop top with my jeans, which is making me twice as my original height. I'm also wearing these accessories because they go well with my brown sling bag. And then finishing my look with this very simple footwear. This top is such a steal because it can be worn in two ways. As seen in the video, its sleeves are puffy, so it's giving me this retro vibe.
for the next outfit, it's still inspired by Lisa. She paired her black tee with her flared jeans. It's perfect on her in a way that her long legs are emphasized. This is highly recommended to women who are not blessed with long legs, like me. For the last tee, I went for a casual look. I'm wearing this short bottoms which is giving me this teenage vibe. I also have here a pink sling bag that goes well with my rainbow tie-dye shoes. Finishing my look with a bucket hat that I got from pet shop. For the last outfit idea, I want a street style but classy. That's why I'm wearing this blazer. It also goes well with my black pair of boots. For an edgier look, I'm finishing it with my fanny pack belt bag plus my pearl crystal tassel earrings. So that's it, we're almost at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed watching as I did when I created this content. Thanks a bunch for your time. This has been Lisa. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!